Well, good morning, everybody. I got a few more medicines to take. So I'm going to lay up off some of these blood thinners. Got some bruises on my hand. Every time I going to take one today. Well, I'm going to talk about Black Lives Matter. Everybody else wants to talk about it. I thought I would. <sighs> there was a TV program or YouTube program or whatever on the news where it's a place, I think it was Virginia, there was a town that was going to give every one of his black residents a uh, compensation for their ancestors being slaves. And I thought to myself, and I made a comment, I said, well, they should need to take a DNA. And I look at my dog, one of them going to push another one off the blanket. No, he ain't, she ain't getting off that blanket so you can cover up with it. I'm going to lay on her now. But uh, I thought to myself, so I dug out my archives to see if any of my ancestors had ever owned slaves. First, I researched when the first slaves came to the uh, America. They came in 1619. I believe it was Virginia by uh, Portuguese freighters or shippers or whatever you want to call them. They were... Uh, sold to the American colonists in 1619, 20 of them. So we, I started there. It didn't say how many females or males, it just said 20 slaves. I'm sure there was mixed race, who knows. But anyway, they started by the Portuguese. Sold to the American colonists in 1619. So I got that, see, on this side's got my... Uh, family coat of arms, but on this side I've got a list of all my ancestors since 1545 was here in America. They came from England in 1545. So, uh, but anyway, I researched back. Uh, my grandfather, uh, uh, Simon, he was born in 1838. Before the Civil War, so, and then my dad, I know, didn't own any slaves, uh, because he was, slavery was already abolished, but anyway, so I took Simon and went all the way back to 1545 uh, to Richard, and, uh, I have their, the ship that came up, they were called Puritans, after they came over here, they was called Quakers, but that's, they were originally called Puritans. So I researched ever Eliza, James, James Jr., Boris, I guess was his name, and I have one named Bowers, David, Charles, all the way back, and found out that they never owned any. Now, I don't know about their siblings, their off, uh, their, uh, uh, you know, their brothers and sisters, because they went which would be uncles and aunts or whatever. But my bloodline, as far as I know, back to 1545, uh, did not own any slaves in America. Now, what they did in England, I'll have to go look that back up. I'll get back with you later. But I thought to myself, now, I went and researched my mother's bloodline. They didn't even... Uh, they dealt among themselves, but they didn't. They didn't let out outsiders in. They were gypsies, Romanovs. What are you itching for? I need to give you a bath today. Uh, always got dry skin. I post put mineral oil on him, some some kind of ha ha baby, whatever. But anyway, I thought that was interesting. But now, after from sixteen. 19 
that they're going to give money to people that were slaves. Well, if you do your DNA, uh, you're not 100% anything anymore. So I believe they were probably forced into sex one way or the other uh, before, or before six, uh, it would be 1865. But I believe after that, I think it might have been a willing uh, mutual agreement or whatever you want to call it. Marriages or whatever. But I don't think it's going to do any good. You know, I believe what they need to do is restructure uh, the inner workings of, I think education should be free, and if you've got the, uh, the smarts, I don't call it smarts, the aptitude test or whatever, I think even college should be free. I mean, we, we have the poorest educated people on this damn planet. I think education should be free, especially, or at least a trade school or something like, uh, what is that damn movie, the show they got, whatever, they have a, people, they take people and give them a type of employment, v, uh, what is that called, man? tech, uh, Votex and stuff like that, all that should be free, uh, even college. But in the equalized housing, I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and we're in the middle of rioting. I mean, the world's going to pot in a handbasket. I think we need to restructure a lot of this stuff where people can buy homes, and I don't care what nationality or other is irrelevant. I think, you know, we've got all these people that's going to be evicted this month coming up, uh, I'd say in August, because they, they haven't got a job, and they haven't, you know, uh, America should realize that if you can't, if the people can't work, they're not going to go hungry, they're going to rebel. This is just the tip of the iceberg that black lives matter. Yes, every life matters. Life itself matters, and America needs to get with it to find out that you got a bunch of unhappy people. You know, there's some of us who are doing all right, this, that, and the other. We can keep our head above water, but as a whole, you got a bunch of unhappy people living here in America. They're tired of working nine to five or six to five or whatever the hell of hours they work, and they're not getting ahead. They're not doing anything. And you're not helping, uh, you're making poor people poor. You know, get out there and educate them where they have a, a decent uh, chance to make a, a, you know, a living or whatever. I mean, come on. I mean, that's where it's at. I believe mean, education is and uh, is the key to everything. You know, better health care, better everything. <clears throat> you don't see very many educated people that's smoking and drugging and everything else. Are good. They got too damn smart for that shit. And as America, you even treat your elderly, your, uh, and this, that, and the other. You barely give them enough money to, to keep them eating cat food. But like I said, right now, America is uh, on the verge of it. it ain't, uh, uh, on the verge of God knows what's going to happen. Let's put it that way. But it always started from, I'm thinking, okay, it's all right to, uh, you want to pay some kind of compensation, this, that, and other. But I would put it in type of programs where we've had low-income housing, we've had this, we've had that. You know, uh, one of my great, 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 great way on back there, in, uh, before, uh, Became the United States, but still an English colony. Uh, one of my great great grands, way on back there, grandfather was a uh, indentured servant for about two or three years. In his will, he had put down in there that he had bought some poles off of uh, somebody that owned them. I don't know if it says it, but I can't remember. And he had to be their servant for two and a half years to pay for all that lumber that he 
got off of me, in other words. Okay. I believe in America, when it became uh, United States, before United States, your kids had to pay your debts. In other words, if you died before your debt was paid, your children had to end up pay, uh, owing, the, owing the debt. That was something to do in England. Well, once I got in America, you weren't no longer responsible for your parents' debts. In other words, if they died before you, they were paid for, your ch the children weren't responsible. So I think that should prevail more than anything. But I do think that we need to restructure everything. We need to take a hard look. And, and I mean, our Constitution's great, but it's not keeping up with the times. We need to... We need to restructure, uh, uh, let's say, the, uh, the web, you know, the cyber bullying. I mean, all that needs to be restructured. We've not even got hardly any laws against the Internet or for the Internet or anything like that. That all needs to be restructured. I think education should be a key. We need to get behind that. Uh, more higher education, that way they won't be, uh, they won't... Be going to, and, and worrying about this. They'll have, you know, higher education and get good, better jobs. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not running the United States, but I think it's apparently nobody is. <laughs> and there you go. There ain't nobody running the damn thing. I've got to let you go, you guys. But like I said, i got to deal with these. Think about your own ancestry. You know, think about uh, your own beliefs. Think about, you know, I believe people can get along with people. I think governments, it, it, all governments throw a ranch into it because uh, you got a few people that's thinking they're better than somebody else and that ain't the way the world works, at least on my level, eh? I will let you guys go. Stay tuned for some more morning gripes. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>